Contagious bovine pleuropneumonia is becoming one of the most risky livestock diseases in the Kinsampo North Municipality of the Buna East region. About 70% of animals slaughtered at the municipal abattoir show signs of infection. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin reports. Contagious bovine pleuropneumonia attacks mostly cattle in sub-Saharan Africa. Up to 15% of infected animals die. And while the quantity reduces, animals are less able to be used for plowing and other work. Kintampo North alone recorded 150 deaths, excluding abattoir figures in the last few months. First we have had David Dakora is veterinary technician. First we have had indicates about 150 deaths and the report we have from the slaughterhouse indicates almost 70 percent of the animals they slaughtered there normally show findings of the cbpp so we therefore urge the cattle farmers to always heed to our advice vaccinations are very cheap as compared to treatment so we will advise them to always seek early vaccinations to avoid the inf infestation of CBPP. The viral disease which kills most of the infected cattle poses a huge danger to nearby farmers. Herds risk widespread attack as over 100 cattle have been infected in the area. Existing but expensive vaccines have side effects besides offering limited prevention and cure. Charles Poku is one of the farmers uh, here who has lost 15 uh, of about 200 cattle already. Uh, 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 our major challenge is the disease. It causes the animals to cough. They also lose weight and eventually die. When we notice the signs of the disease, we fall on the veterinary officers to assist in whichever way they can. What we experienced this year has been a sudden collapse of some of the animals which required urgent attention of the vet officers. CBPP means contagious bovine pleuropneumonia. It's actually a respiratory disease. The symptoms are the animals have difficulty in breathing, which will result in difficulty in walking long distances and sometimes sudden deaths. Mr. Opoku's farmer established a livestock farm for him out of passion and love for animals, including the economic benefits. Bovine pleuropneumonia is, however, a threat to building a viable business. This year alone, we have lost 15 cattle to the disease. Veterinary technicians say they would leave no stone unturned in finding relief for Mr. Opoku and his colleagues. David Dakura's worry, however, is the unwillingness of some farmers to vaccinate their animals. Yes, CBPP is a big challenge in our municipality because farmers think, they normally think they know it all. You advise them, feel thick, but the rest wouldn't even heed your advice until the disease outbreak is occurring in their farm. And when it begins that way, you can't vaccinate the, the animals. Vaccinations are given to only healthy animals. So as soon as the sickness set in, you can't vaccinate them, meaning you have to treat to see if some could revive from the sickness. Over the years, a lot of research has gone into getting effective vaccines to fight the disease, but little success has been achieved. Mahmoud Mohamed Rudin's report for Joy News.